Hey guys, so what is your life but but a little mist, right? A, a small little vapor that is here for a little while and then it's gone. That's what James says in the chapter, uh, fourth chapter of the book of James. And he's talking in context of people making these great schemes and great plans and, you know, like expecting these great things to happen. And he's like, you can't even tell me what will happen tomorrow. And I think for some of us, we get so caught up in our life here and now that we forget about the future, right? Whenever there comes a day, I will, you know, like end up giving up the ghost, if you will. I will die. And at that point, I'm going to enter in what is everlasting life, whatever, you know, like that, that length of time that's so much greater than this. And so I just, I'm like, I'm very convicted of the fact that, you know, this life here now needs to be reflecting of the fact that I am with all of my being realizing that this life is just a mist. It's just a vapor. And if I'm not living my life in accordance to that, it's like I don't believe it. And I think some people, you know, we put so much emphasis on the here and now, you know, like God wants to, you know, heal us, that God wants to, you know, do all these things. And it's true. Yeah, I, I believe it. But your life is just a mist. And yes, God concerns himself with the mist. But I think he's more concerned with the after of the mist, right? If, if you know, like you are going to spend the long term. Whenever I deal with my daughter, you know, like I have to, you know, like, think long term well is this going to help her long term or is this going to set us up for failure down the line in the same way God's thinking that way towards us and so we have some people that are so focused on the here and now that they are no good to heaven we also have people that are so heavenly minded that they're no earthly good they can't take everything that they're seeing that's so you know like God around them and you know all this stuff and then they can't affect the people around them because they can't see the connection and I think what James is trying to say with this just a mist is so the same thing to the people that are too heavenly minded to be any earthly good and those that are too earthly minded to be any heavenly good and it's hey you only get one of these there's a great book um, it's by Mark Cahill, I believe. It says one thing that you can't do in heaven. And the one thing that he says that you cannot do it in heaven is to tell anyone who doesn't know who Jesus is. He said you can't introduce anyone to Jesus in heaven because they already know him. And so I just want to encourage you. You only get one try at this life thing. Make it worth it. Thanks for taking a minute.